July and I am on my holidays in France which can only mean one thing today and tomorrow is Tour de France day so today and tomorrow um, I'm gonna go see a couple of stages of the Tour de France today I'm gonna to go see the stage finish in Bordeaux stage 7 and tomorrow I plan to go to Libourne to watch the start of stage eight. Um, so yeah, gonna go watch a couple of stages of the Tour de France. Just on my way into the local town here now, to the bakery. Uh, morning routine when on holiday, cycle into the bakery, get some croissants, some pan au chocolat, and uh, yeah, then we're gonna head to Bordeaux for the day. Um, do a bit of sightseeing, but go watch the Tour finishing, and all being well, sprint finish. And it would be amazing if Mark Cavendish got the sprint finish today. But it should be it should be a good day. Uh, there won't be much cycling in today's vlog. But I'm going to take you along with me, um, and you can hopefully uh, see what the atmosphere uh, is of seeing the Tour de France live in person. But yeah, it should be a good day. Tour de France fan park. I've changed into my Tour de France t-shirt, a cycling hat. I'm with Alan and uh, the two of us are like a kid in a sweet shop. This is going to be incredible. What are you doing? Right, so I've decided to start my own cycling vlog. <laughs> and uh, I'm just here in this Tour de France fan zone, right? Fan zone, beautiful day for you. Let me... What are you doing? Alan. was pretty cool. I did go and see the Tour de France last year in Paris, the final stage, but I couldn't find the fan zone, so I haven't been riding the fan zone before, so the fan zone was, was great. There was stuff for kids, there was little bikes they could ride, there was loads of sponsors and stuff there, so yeah, it was, it was good atmosphere, pretty good to see. So we're just in the park having a bite of lunch and then gonna go down and try and find somewhere to stand as close to the finish gantry as we can, because um, I would like to see the sprint finish, um, but uh, but also the caravan is coming through about half three or so. And um, so I wanna go down so the kids and big kids alike can see the caravan coming through. So it is still like two hours before the tour comes through and the place is absolutely buzzing.
That is stage seven of the Tour de France, Dan. Mark Cavendish was pipped to the line by Jasper Philipsen. Um, the atmosphere, the atmosphere around the finish of a tour stage is unbelievable. So yeah, if you actually want to watch the race, you're probably better staying at home and watching it on TV because today, watching it in person there today meant standing around in the 30 degree heat for two hours and then the race was passed in literally a split second, um, as you probably saw from my, my footage. But, uh, but yeah, the atmosphere makes it worth it. It's, it's incredible. But um, my wife and kids got bored of waiting around, so they went to the museum in Bordeaux. So I'm going to go to the museum and meet them. And then we're going to make a plan to go and see the start of stage eight tomorrow in, uh, in Leibourne. My kids will be delighted. So yeah, I mean, I definitely recommend going to watch the Tour de France in person just for the atmosphere. But um, last year I went to watch the Tour in Paris. And again, although I had to stand for hours in the baking heat to wait on the race, I think it was better watching the tour on the Rue de Rivoli in Paris because it's a circuit at that point. It means that the riders go past seven or eight times. So yeah, that was probably a better experience than today, but still great to go and see another stage of the Tour de France. Put that on the video. Yeah. We'll be talking. Are you filming right I now? I am filming right now. Right, yeah. <laughs> so, Sorry, I may need a wee. <laughs> it is Saturday the 8th of July. Uh, we are in Alan's here with me. We are in Libourne, just outside Bordeaux for stage 8 of the Tour de France. So the stage is starting in Libourne today and going to Limoges. Um, good to watch the stage yesterday, really. I like, love the buzz, love, love the atmosphere. Um, but yeah, today we're going to go up and see what we can see around the start of the stage. Uh, my wife and kids loved it so much yesterday that they chose to stay in bed instead of coming to the start of the stage today. But yeah, so we've got about a one kilometre walk into Leibourne and uh, hoping we can hoping we can maybe see some of the riders warming up. I don't know, genuinely don't know how close you can get to like the buses and stuff. I've never been to the start of the stage before, so yeah, I'll take you along and we'll see, see what we can see. I am decked out today in my LA Clerk spotty t-shirt that I got at yesterday's stage. Um, it is about eight sizes too big for me, but I don't care. I'm joining in with the atmosphere. again today is crazy you can hear the crowds from like really far away and again the tour hasn't even started yet it's just the caravan going through Okay, so we, we can't actually get into the tour village or to the paddock where the riders are. You need to be like an invited guest or like have a QR code to access it, which uh, we do not have. Um, and we don't know how to get. So if anybody knows how you get access to the tour villages of these things, leave me a comment down below so when I inevitably come back to the tour, like next year, I know how to get in. Um, but I think what we'll do is we'll go find a, a good spot on the, the route so we can watch the uh, watch today stage roll out at a more leisurely pace. Buy that. <laughs> So we've got a, got a good spot along the, the starting straight. The start is just down there near that screen. And so this section of the race will be neutralized. So there's no racing at this point. They're just rolling out. Um, but hopefully that will be kind of cool to see because yesterday when we saw them, like they flew past like in a split second. So 
again, just a different vibe, uh, different, different experience. But yeah, it'll be good to, it'll be good to see. Done watching the rollout of stage eight of the Tour de France. I'm gonna go back to uh, the house. Did we? Did I park down that way or that one? Oh, I'm gonna park down. I think it's this one. This one. Uh, I'll go down this one. See, I'm trying to find the car. Can't remember where I parked. And um, it's gonna go back to the house. I am out here on holiday with uh, the family, so I'm not gonna be doing too much vlogging. But I wanted to want to take a few photos and videos of the tour for sure. So. Um, yeah, that was a pretty good experience. Really enjoyed going to watch the tour yesterday and today. Uh, my advice if you're thinking about coming and watching the Tour de France, it's brilliant. The atmosphere is class. Seeing you know, riders and stuff that you follow up close is incredible. Um, but it is a lot of waiting around, often in high temperatures, a lot of sun. So there's a lot of waiting around, you know, a couple of hours waiting around each day for a few minutes, not even a few minutes, a few seconds as the riders pass. So it is a lot of waiting around just for that. Um, but the buzz and the atmosphere and the whole vibe around the around the place is incredible and it is worth it's worth experiencing. I would say I would say last year when I saw the tour last year it was in Paris. Got to see the riders go past like eight times because I was on the circuit in the centre of Paris. So if you're thinking about it, it's worth trying to go to Paris. Um, and see the tour there uh, because you get to see the riders going past more often so yeah maybe maybe just plan it out uh, and see see what you think if any of you have been to watch the tour before leave me a comment let me know I'd love to know what you what your experience of it was if you've any questions about visiting the Tour de France leave a comment ask away I'll try and answer as best I can um, as always guys thank you for watching um, hope you've enjoyed this video uh, if you have, make sure to hit like, leave me a comment, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye!